The fishbone diagram is available on the Analyze menu in Engine Room. You can either click or drag the fishbone diagram tool into the Engine Room workspace. Then, if you would like more space to work with the fishbone diagram, turn on Max Mode. Max Mode is available in the top right of all the studies in Engine Room, and when you click on that, the tool takes over the entire screen. There are two views in the fishbone diagram tool, the Edit View and the Fishbone View. You start in the Edit View and you click on Fishify This to get to the fishbone view. When you see the diagram in fishbone view, you will see the head of the fish, which contains the main idea or theme of the fishbone diagram, the main categories, the subcategories or bones underneath the main categories, and then the subbones underneath the bones. As you can see in fishbone view, the subbones appear as bullet points. We will show you how to enter the head of the fish, the categories, the bones, and the subbones in edit mode. When you open a new diagram in edit mode, the problem statement is untitled. You can click on untitled and then state the main idea or theme of the diagram, which will be at the head of the fish in the fishbone diagram. In edit view, you start with the six main categories commonly called the 6M, people, process, equipment, management, environment, and materials. You can add categories by clicking on Add Category, and you can delete categories by clicking on the trash can to the right of the category name. You can change the name of the category by clicking in the box with the current category name and then typing the new category name. To add bones to the category, click on the plus underneath the appropriate category and then type the name of the new bone. You can add subbones under a bone by, again, clicking on the plus underneath the appropriate category, typing the name of the new subbone, and then dragging the subbone until it fits underneath the appropriate bone. You can have as many categories as you would like, as many bones underneath a category as you need, and also as many subbones underneath a bone as you may need. If you decide to delete a main bone underneath a category, and if that main bone contains subbones, you will get a warning message that says this item cannot be deleted. Please delete the bones underneath first. And if you delete the sub bones, you can then delete the bone. If you want to highlight one of the categories bones or sub bones, you can change the color of the font. Hover over the category name of the font color you would like to change. Then click on the T and then click on the rectangle next to the words font color. This will open up the color palette. You can select a color with RGB, HSL, a hex code, by scrolling across the various colors, or with the color sampler. To use the color sampler, click on this icon, and then choose any color on your computer screen. Here, I am choosing the color of the hexagon in the top left corner of the screen. You can apply the font color to all of the bones and subbones underneath the category by clicking Apply Below. You can also change the color of the bones and subbones individually by hovering over the name of the bone or subbone, clicking the T, clicking the rectangle next to the T, and selecting the color in one of the available ways. That covers many of the features in the fishbone diagram tool. I hope the tool is useful for you. Thank you.